Okay, I've done um, a little video on a plug cut herring. Now I'm going to work on uh, how to how to rig a hole herring. And this is one real easy method. In, in this case, I'm using three hooks because typically in the Willamette River, um, these fish shake loose real easy. And so on some of my gear, I'm using two hooks. And in this case, I'm using three. So you can easily do this with a two hook mooching rig. And I'm using a red label herring. So it's rather small fish, but I try to look at the natural curve of the fish. In this case, it's kind of bending this way, and I run the first hook through the eyeball socket, and um, try not to take the eyeball out, try to keep it in. It's okay if it disappears, but I'm going to pull the first hook through. I'm going to follow it with the second hook going through the eye socket, and um, this is a slider, so I'm going to pull some, some slack for the moment. Um, I take not the very back hook, but the second to the back hook and put it about the middle center of the fish near the back. And dig it in there so that when I hook my front hook through its chin and up through the forehead bone like that, I can just pull on it a little bit and create just enough bend so when I put it in the water it's going to have a nice little roll. It'll give a different roll than a cut plug herring and that's good because I want to show the fish different presentations and, and hope it's going to bite something and, and if I realize that they're hitting this whole herring then I can switch out all my rigs to whole herring and um, if they're hitting the cut plug herring, then I obviously can go with plug cut. But today I got five rods in the water, so I'm, tr I'm testing different gear and different depths to try to figure out what the fish want today. So I'll put this in the water like I do with all my other fish. Uh, just make sure it has a nice roll, and then I'll be dropping it down off my rear rod about 12 poles. And um, we've talked. We've talked in previous video about how, what poles mean, but we're not fishing the bottom here. We're just going out somewhere between 12, 12, 15 and 25 feet is the average what we're looking for to find a spring chinook.